Hey guys, it's Friday fish day. Now I'm not gonna make fish today, but I am gonna make sushi. I'm gonna show you my ingredients. This is seaweed. This is what I'm gonna wrap the sushi in. Under here I have some cooked sushi rice. I'll show you, I'll tell you how to make that in a minute. I have some water for my hands because sushi rice is very, very sticky. It's my first piece of seaweed. Um, you're gonna, when you put your seaweed down, you're gonna make sure you put it on the shiny side down because you wanna put your ingredients on the dull side. My ingredients over here are cream cheese, right here, cucumber that I've sliced up. This is avocados. You can put anything in sushi. This is just what I'm putting in it today. And I put some olive oil, I'm trying to keep it from turning brown. This is smoked salmon. I know a lot of people don't like to eat raw fish. I like mine smoked also. And this right here, this is your sushi rice. Um, you don't have to get this kind. Um, I just seen it and got it. You can get uh, any small grain rice you can make sushi rice with. You can even get uh, sushi rice in those bulk departments at the uh, grocery store. And how you make sushi rice is you take one cup of rice and one and a quarter cup of water, bring it to a boil, and as soon as it starts boiling, you turn it down to low and with the top on it and let it cook for 20 minutes and then take it off the heat. Now, you need to make sure when you're making sushi rice, you rinse it very, very well because it is full of starch and because it will over boil a lot if um, you don't rinse all that starch off. So you rinse it like I rinse mine about five, six, seven times to get all that starch off until the water ran clear. I actually have a a rice rinser. I mean, you can do it in a pot or bowl. I just happen to have this. I got this off of Amazon. And how do you, after, after you get done, you use um, either rice vinegar. I have that kind. And I also have uh, brown rice vinegar. And you add a half a teaspoon to three tablespoons, or a half a teaspoon of salt and three-fourths teaspoon of sugar and three tablespoons of vinegar to a little bowl and you mix until dissolved. And when you do that, you pour your rice out onto, um, I got it on a cookie sheet, but most people pour it in a wooden bowl, a non-reactive bowl. I just poured mine on this cookie sheet. And then you kind of, you pour the vinegar mixture on top of the rice and you kind of, you don't want it mushy. You just kind of fold it in, like you, you chop it in, okay? And then you see I have it sitting under this towel because I don't want it to get dry out. So give me a second, I'll be right back and I'll show you how to put it together. Okay, you guys, I have put some rice onto this seaweed. I have this lined with a little bit of um, plaster wrap. We're gonna see how that do because a lot of times it moves around too much. And I'm gonna start with the cucumber and put this right here. Actually, I wanna put some cream cheese right here. Two pieces is enough. And the avocados. Some of these I'm gonna make all veggie. I get a lot of salmon. Last time I got a lot of salmon. I just wasted because you don't use a lot when you make these rolls. And you want to leave a little bit, hmm, probably about a half an inch on each side. And then you take your mat and you just roll it. You want to try to get it tight. Okay. Let's see, that's what I meant about this, this plastic wrap. But you just want to roll it. And then, I'm going to take this and you want to bring that tight. And that's your sushi roll. And then you could take um, a towel, a moistened towel. Or a paper towel and kind of tap the ends but I'm gonna I'm cut these ends off so we'll have you know nice 
uh, sushi roll. See, it works better without this plastic wrap. Yeah, I'm gonna take that off. So let's do one more. Okay, we're gonna do one more. I'm gonna go with the cucumber. Avocado. A nice size cucumber. Actually, where'd I get a cucumber? And then two pieces of the cream cheese. This is curling up. I should have kept that in, kept that moistened. Yeah, that works a lot better without that plastic wrap on it. We want to do it tight, like I said. And you can serve this with that hot mustard. I don't like that. Or um, I'm going to have mine with soy sauce. Okay. And I'm going to go out and get some hot mustard for Dante because he likes his actually with the hot mustard. And that's how you make sushi. You guys be paying all that money for that sushi. You want to get a few pieces. You make your own, you get way more. So I'm going to plate it up for you and I'll let you see what it's looking like. Actually, I wanted to show you guys how to cut it before I plate it up for you. You want to get a, a wet knife. I usually just cut the ends off, you know, and snack on the little ends. I wet my knife. You cut it in the middle. And I have a serrated knife. Cut it in the middle. You could either leave it this big or you can cut it one more time. And then there's your sushi. So now I will plate it up for you and let you see what it's looking like. Okay, y'all, there it goes, plated up. That's what it's looking like. I have plenty of ingredients left. I just ran out of rice, so I haven't did the veggie ones yet. But there you go, sushi. You see how much you got? And I still got a lot of ingredients left. So you guys make your own and stop paying, what is it? $5.99, $7.99, and you get about, what, five to eight pieces? I still have plenty to make. So it's very economical when you do it yourself. All right, you guys have a great day.